Wrexham's National League title celebrations are set to continue long into the night as the likes of Ben Foster and Paul Mullen sung their hearts out with a beer in hand. Wrexham's National League promotion party is set to continue long into the night but this was a story of relief, ecstasy, emotion and jubilation as the Red Dragons finally sealed their long-awaited return to the Football League. Paul Mullen was once again the hero as he scored twice in the second half to seal a 3-1 triumph over Boreham Wood. Who did their best to gatecrash Wrexham's crowning moment? Lee and Lovu struck a first-minute opener, lobbing Ben Foster to totally stun the racecourse ground, providing a reminder that nothing in the National League is ever straightforward. Yet Wrexham rallied back and got their rewards when Elliot Lee leveled things up and from that moment, there was a sense that nothing was going to stand in the way of the hosts in their pursuit of glory. Mullen then caressed home two stunning second-half goals to wrap up the victory and from then on, it was evident this was going to be a night for the history books. As Boreham Wood attempted to fight their way back into the game in stoppage time, fans began to gather around the side of the pitch in anticipation for the full-time whistle. Despite health and safety protocols, nothing was going to stop Wrexham's fanatical supporters from celebrating this joyous victory with their heroes. Within many seconds of the referee's whistle, the floodgates opened and the fans were on the pitch lofting the players onto their shoulders. There should be no surprise that 38-goal hero Mullen received a legendary reception as he was immediately hoisted onto somebody's shoulders. Yet after all the media attention and spotlight, you could see there was a feeling of emotional release from Mullian who frequently looked to the sky and let out several screeching roars. Red flares also lit up the Welsh sky as the players displayed beaming smiles that were accompanied with fist bumps. Back on the side of the pitch. Manager Phil Parkinson's eyes were filled with tears as he celebrated passionately and reflectively, clutching those around him and saluting the board and his family in the crowd. Parkinson told fans, I truly believe this is the start of a journey for Wrexham Football Club. Enjoy it. We are going to have a party tonight. Upstairs, Hollywood owners Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney cut emotional figures as all their hard work and dedication finally paid dividends. They were in total disbelief at what they had just seen as Reynolds FaceTimed his loved ones before laying out a red flag which read Wrexham. We are going up. For the trophy lift, players donned flags and scarves as they patiently awaited Captain Ben Tozer's arrival to collect the biggest prize of all. In typical Wrexham fashion, he was keen to share the moment collectively and lifted the trophy aloft with boss Parkinson, who has won multiple promotions during previous spells with the likes of Bradford City and Bolton. Dot dot. Meanwhile, the cycling G.K. Foster was waving his GoPro camera around capturing footage this will undoubtedly skyrocket on his popular YouTube channel. Have a smell of that, the former England goalkeeper said to BT Sports Jeff Brazier following a brilliant interview as he waved his sweaty shirt in the presenter's face. It wasn't long before the champagne was out in the dressing room as corks were popped and bubbly was sprayed into the air. Showering Wrexham's players and staff alike. They then all linked arms for a brilliant rendition of We Are the Champions by Queen in scenes that will live long in the memory. Cans and bottles of beer had already been devoured and it appears there was plenty more to go around as every player jumped in on the chance to enjoy some well-earned booze. Members of the coaching staff were soaked from head to toe while some of the post-match refreshments placed in the center of the dressing room were no longer fit for purpose. Foster even put the GoPro to one side to issue out some bear hugs as the Wrexham players continued to dance the night away. There's a real growing feeling that this is just the start of Wrexham's special Hollywood story and given the unity that was on display following their incredible crowning moment, there is no reason why the Red Dragons cannot shake up League 2 next season. Don't sleep on them.